In this problem, we're going to calculate the magnetic field due to a long, straight segment of wire carrying a current I. I'm going to put the segment of wire on the x-axis. I'm going to have the current going to the right. The point of interest where we want the magnetic field will be above the wire at a point P, such that the perpendicular distance between point P and the wire we'll call A. Now the equation that we want to use to do this calculation is the Biot-Savart law, which tells us that the magnetic field is equal to the permeability of free space times the current divided by 4 pi times the integral of dl cross r hat over r squared. Now in order to use that equation, you need to know what all these quantities are in this integral. So, dl is a little element of the wire pointing in the direction of the current. So that'll be dl. r is the distance from dl up to the point of interest. That's r. And r hat is a unit vector that lies along r. Okay, so first of all, what we want to do is deal with the cross product that's inside the integral. <clears throat> so the vector dl can be written as dx i hat, because it's in the x direction. If we take dl cross r hat, the magnitude of that would be the magnitude of i, magnitude of r hat, sine of the angle between i hat and r hat, and the direction you can see if you cross dl into r is out of the board, so that would be k hat. Theta is the angle defined between R and DL. Now, the magnitudes of I hat and R hat are just one because they're unit vectors, so we get DX sine theta K hat for that cross product. Okay, we're ready to put that in the integral now. The K hat can come out of the integral because it's constant. So I have mu naught I K hat over 4 pi and I'm having to integrate dx sine theta over r squared. Now x, theta, and r are all variables, so we need to change to one variable, and I'm going to change to theta. So I'm going to change everything to theta. This always ends up being the easiest thing to do when we have triangles in our geometry. So there's theta. This is negative x. The origin is the place where your perpendicular vector hits the wire. So this is the origin. So if I'm left of the origin, x is negative. A is the perpendicular distance from the point of interest P to the wire. R is then the distance from this end of the triangle up to point P. Okay, so if I'm going to get rid of R, I want a relationship between R, theta, and A. I don't want a relationship with X in it because then I'm just going to have to get rid of X. So we have that sine theta is equal to A over R, so R must be A over sine theta or A cosecant theta. Okay, that takes care of r. And to get rid of x, I'm going to use tan theta. So I have tan and theta is a over negative x, or x is negative a cotan theta, but I need a dx. So I'm going to take the derivative, dx is negative a, derivative of cotan is negative cosecant squared theta, d theta. So the negatives are gone, and I just have a cosecant squared theta d theta. Okay, so we'll put these into the integral. We have b mu naught i k hat over 4 pi. For dx, I put a cosecant squared theta d theta. And then I have a sine theta. And I have r squared, which is a squared cosecant squared theta. Cosecant squares cancel. The a 
on top cancels one on the bottom, so I'm left with mu naught i k hat. I'm going to pull that a out, so I have 4 pi a, and then I'm integrating sine theta d theta. Now, I have to work with the limits of integration. The limits of integration are from one end of the wire to the other. I'm going to draw the wire again. So here's the wire. Here's our point of interest. One end of the wire has an angle theta. Theta is always between r hat and dl. So this would be theta 1. And the other end of the wire, dl has to carry on in the direction of the current, so dl has to point to the right always. r hat points up to the point of interest, so that becomes theta 2. Our limits of integration are from theta 1 to theta 2. So we carry out that integration, the integral of sine is negative cosine, evaluated from theta 1 to theta 2. I'm just going to reverse those because of that negative sign, and our final answer becomes mu naught i k hat of 4 pi a cos of theta 1 minus cos of theta 2. And that is a formula that you can use for any straight line segment of wire.